in this tips and tricks video for 3ds max i want to talk about the transform toolbox the transform toolbox is uh not new it exists for some years now but it's a bit a bit hidden and it's uh, it's in in many cases um it's it's overlooked so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go into the edit menu and i'm gonna open the transform toolbox so in the transform toolbox you do have tools available for rotation scaling uh, aligning your pivot and cloning your object so um, rotation is fairly simple the only thing you need to do is just make a selection uh, you can change the uh, rotation incremental uh, value so if i set it to uh, let's do 20 degrees then we have an option for counterclockwise rotation or uh, clockwise uh, rotation um, so that's that's fairly fairly simple uh, for rotating rotating your object right uh, another one is about scaling so uh, with the size you are literally scaling your object so it's always um, challenging scaling objects in 3ds max uh, due to the way how objects are built uh, so you need to be a bit careful with that so if i want to get the size so uh, by default the um, the value is set to a size of 20 uh, and i and really want to know what is the size in the in the current z direction so if i hit get i do get all the um, the current dimensions of the object in both x y and z direction so if i just want to scale it in the z axis the only thing you need to do is, is activate the axis obvious it's quite obvious and then set the size so if i set the size and hit the option uh, set size then i'm scaling the object and it's scaling in z direction be careful though uh, because it's a skill and a skill is uh, applied after uh the modifiers so at first it's base object then it goes to the modifiers then it goes into your uh controllers and after that the skill is being applied so um be careful with that uh what you can do though uh if you just want to reset the um the the, the skill you can automatically uh, apply a reset x form so it's gonna it's gonna uh, translate the skill into the object and it becomes an editable mesh automatically um, so that's that that might help that might help uh, another one option which is also very nice is the pivot point alignment in my humble opinion this is just the fastest way the quickest way to transform your pivot point so um, align pivot I can center it and as obvious it's centering my pivot point i can set it to the origin so it's gonna go into a world um, uh, uh, coordinate space so uh zero 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 or i can just start aligning it in one of the axes so imagine if i set it to minus and I do an x um, similar approach for the y uh, the pivot point will automatically be located in my lower left corner um, and again I can set it back to the uh, to the center if I want um, also another interesting option is cloning the object so if I select an object if I do a Q clone I'm just copying cloning the object um, based on the viewport so what I mean by that that is if I go into a front viewport so let me go into front um, and if I start cloning now I'm cloning in this direction okay if I go into a uh, left viewport and clone it again okay uh, switching back into a top viewport and cloning in this direction and if I now go back into my perspective and uh, let me activate the home position of my grid um, so this is what's happening so based on the on the view itself you're cloning the object so quite nice um, in in many cases the transform toolbox has forgotten by many people was overlooked um, again it's available in the um, in the edit uh, menu of the uh, 3ds max menu bar 
uh, and it helps a lot, uh, especially when when relocating your your pivot point. Um, instead of going into the hierarchy tab and affect your pivot, this is a very very fast approach uh, for different uh, transformations. Thank you.